Well, as Chris mentioned earlier, the coldest air of the season is moving in. A frost advisory goes into effect tonight through tomorrow morning. Not only could this be a crop killer tonight, but if you don't take proper precautions, you could lose some sensitive outdoor plants as well. Molly Rosenblatt shows us what you need to do and how you can protect your plants. The good thing about tonight is it's also going to usher in the fall. Fall is in the air, and it was only a matter of time before it ushered in our first frost. That means trouble for cold sensitive plants. They're beautiful today. They're probably not going to be beautiful after a frost. So, as a gardener, it's time to start thinking about slowing down too, and dormancy is just part of that. Scott Endress, owner of Tangletown Gardens in South Minneapolis, explains what can and what can't survive a frost. The tropical plants that aren't quite wired that way. Um, they're not used to it. They're like, whoa, what is this all about? You know, Minnesota, we, we really like these hot, hot summers, but now all of a sudden this cold? No, we're not going to do that. If your tropical or cold sensitive types are potted, just bring them inside. If you don't have room to bring in everything, pick what you love the most. And as for what you can't bring indoors, just throw a towel or a bed sheet or a blanket over them. That's just probably enough protection to give a, a degree or two of difference on those first frosty nights. If left uncovered, it's game over for those tender plants. Now on the bright side, Andres points out that many outdoor plants like ornamental cabbages and kale become even more vibrant after the first cold snap. Colors that you don't see during the growing season, they actually need that cold to make them uh, come to their full fruition of beauty. And don't forget to embrace the beauty in the change of seasons. Let's celebrate the beauty of fall for what it is. And Jack Frost is just one of the things that, um, that kind of ushers that in. And so maybe we should welcome him. Molly Rosenblatt, WCCO 4 News. Welcome, Mr. Frost. There you go. Yes. Yeah. And Mr. Schaefer. Yes. I like to throw a nice afghan or a shawl on those flowers to keep I them. Do. Nice. <laughs> I'm kidding. Those are just some old school words for you. Yeah, it's going